it is time I'm gonna watch diamond dust top eight say hi youtube youtube stream chat yeah i gotta check out this top eight had a, a, a good amount of players in attendance there you know if some of y'all watch my stream i practiced uh or i played with cosmos for a little bit with hero because he had a face face off against beast mode paul spoiler alert if you look at the stream right now if you have functioning eyes someone's in top eight and someone else is not in top eight we'll we'll talk about that later but um yeah we're gonna be watching diamond dust top eight you know, see what's good and uh yeah hero better than ages confirmed at this point i'm never gonna speak about ages anybody who says anything about ages like oh yeah age is so bad all that i'm just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've already i've already exhausted how much i can i can say about that busted ass character but that's it that's the last thing i'm gonna say character's not busted what am i talking about all right so we got hero versus steve i've heard that you know this matchup is one of like the harder ones for steve Ooh, back to back uh oh damn so he actually died from that because he got hit by he got hit by the four there right this is very unfortunate he got hit by the four there spike and he went low enough that he actually hit the spike blast zone because he was he had accelerator on because you know when you have accelerator on you're like you're lighter so your knockback is increased and all that stuff and ps2 i mean you guys see it you can kind of compare it to like when fox gets spiked here i tell i say it all the time like why does light go to ps2 i'm like bro he's like yo ps2 and and, and ba small battlefield they're so different no they're not no they're not they're not that different all right when you get four air spiked over there on that stage, you're gonna survive these scenarios or very likely survive these scenarios. You're not gonna instantly die from the four air. PS2's blast zone is very close to the black uh, to the the platform structure and stuff, so that means the spike blast zone is even closer. So that's why at moments like this, when people get like four air spike, they actually die because it's like right there. Crazy. Even owning him, the player cam was like, "Hey, bro, what just happened right there?" He wasn't expecting that one to kill. Damn, held in with that side B, got hit by a bang and cooked. I feel like, like Hero does fine in this matchup. But it's like he, he, one thing that is good for Steve is that Hero doesn't like pressure constantly. You know, I feel like that's the real annoying thing for Steve. Like a Steve probably sees bounce and they're like, "Oh my God, I can't spam like down air and shit like that." It's like, all right, well you you don't gotta spam down air like normally anyways. Oh, nice pivot grab right there from Beast Mode. Or have Beast Mode Paul. Or I, I don't know why I called him his full name there. Normally, I just say Paul. Oh, he's dead. Oh, good DI. I'm actually very surprised he lived that. Um, I was going to say that. I know Paul uses um, Sephiroth. So, I'm surprised he didn't like try out Sephiroth. Well, actually, should I be surprised? He sucks. You can't down throw a hero when he has bounce on. Oh, that's interesting. But I mean, for that reason, though, you can also kind of play around it in the sense of like the Steve probably knows that or like should know that because that's their character. And also the hero knows that. So they think that you're not going to go for grabs often, but you could just go for fourth throw, you know, just get some damage and push them away and stuff like that. Damn, he got mixed. Sizzle is so good in this matchup. Because, like, obviously, Steve is going to hold neutral B basically any moment uh, he can to gather up mats and stuff. And if there's no wall in between you guys, Sizzle will just go really quick across the screen and hit him before. He has to, like, preemptively either A, read the hero's menu, or preemptively shield, which is fine with you because, you know, you're stopping them from uh, mining from full screen. That was good. That is the most annoying thing for to get hit by <laughs> up, up till into back here. It just works so perfect for like so much percent. Even with diamond, like if you get hit at like 100, it still combos on some characters. Nice. That, the ultra delayed back here because of the craft table. That's not going to be a stock yet. Yeah. Since he directional air dodge, he, he had a little bit of lag. Oh, he has one iron. Okay, he has two iron. But now he has a diamond. Ew, got hit, got hit with the sour spot of uh, Zap. Yeah, he burned all MP right now. Oh, damn. It looked like Onan read that, but then he, the last moment, just decided, like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me just go for this. 
one of the interactions that very much favors Steve in this matchup is that whenever Hero gets Psych up, he almost always has to waste it on blocks. Because Onin can build up blocks and then the that is true. burns the Psych up and he has to For some it. reason, Psych up just, or... Never really gets to get Ooh, that big damage they didn't get hit by that. Boom gonna chase Onin off stage. Down air sends him further, though. So, oh! Now trying to get back to stage and I thought he had a kill right there because he definitely had his double jump. Off. Swing at these zooms coming up here as well. Finally gonna go up there, try to beat the back. Yeah, it's so weird because like this matchup, I feel like I'm watching Onan pull out a lot of materials. Uh oh. Yeah, the set takes 50%. I guess Hero is just one of those like slow, annoying matchups for Steve, or like that could be annoying. Sheesh. One thing that's like a little bit of a gamble for Paul in this matchup, he does use a lot of like down B menus. Like right now, for example, he just got back and he already burned 45 MP and like going and stuff like that. So in that moment, in that last stock, he had no mats. I mean, no MP. So he had to just jump on stage and pray that like Onan's not throwing out a move that's going to kill him. You don't want to be off stage for long with zero MP or very close to zero MP. It's weird that like hitting the blocks removed the psych up, but it doesn't give you MP as like hero because like, it means you are hitting something. But, I mean, I guess it's not a character. You don't get any MP. F smash! I think, I think Onan tried to... I'm surprised the parry, like, even activated. That shit was pretty high up. That was Sizz, not Sizzle. It does look a little pixelated, so I just wanted to double check. It's gonna kill. Unfortunate. Whenever you die to Steve and you get a star KO or like a camera splat KO, they love that shit because they get like an extra like two seconds of being able to mine materials. Uh oh. Damage. See, like, see the problem right now. Right now, he's still fine or he's not dead, but like, look at how much MP Paul has and he just finished losing his stock. I think that's like one of the problems or like. Maybe not problems, but one thing that can make this a little bit more difficult for him. Because now he feels like he can't burn out much MP because he doesn't have any MP to burn out to begin with anymore. He needs to go for maybe a couple more fake outs. Because more often than not, a lot of these MP usages, uh, usage attacks are not actually doing anything to Onan. Like he's blocking it from full screen or, or just it's not hitting him at all. The tree's gonna get chopped down with the Ooh. Wait a minute. F smash would have been huge, but Beast Mode If he didn't have accelerator, he I'm pretty sure he would have got hit there. Yeah, going for like psych up now, I would say that's fine if he has the MP. He chases down game five. Problems throwing him out, but stuck in the minecart stays alive. Order spike up smash. True combo. You can't spike. You can't take the spike on the forward air. Oh! I don't even know what he got hit by. The TNT or the, the kaboom. Almost killed him, though. Oh, flame slash. He had it. He just did it the wrong way by mistake. Why is Steve so heavy? Uh, Steve? He, wow, what a weird kill. But that was, I mean, he pulling it out game five. It ended up working out. I was going to say, Steve isn't really heavy. It's just that the blocks make him feel like he's much heavier or like he lifts a high percent because he bounces off his own blocks. But he's actually not heavy. I'm pretty sure he's like in a midway, like around like Mario. Uh-oh. Sheesh. Oh. Damn. That was, that was actually tragic as fuck. Like, that snowballed. I couldn't even say anything because I was about to say this shit is snowballing hard. F, he lost his shot. He got hit from 8%. Got hit by this. Not a tr that was a true combo because he teched it. Fell right into that. Bird poop anvil. Boom. That shit was decently strong because of the... Uh, I think the accelerator was still active. Let me see. Oh, no, no. The accelerator was gone. It was just that strong. And that is going to do it. Nah, ain't no way they got Leo out here. Nah, not, nah, no way. Yeah, I heard that Leo was playing Roy this event, but I don't know if he was going full Roy or if he was just going like Roy one game and then depending on like what's happening in the set. 
Now, I'm surprised to see. Uh, I'm surprised that they started. Uh, town on stage yeah, he's one. dead. A lot of boop, this boop. I don't know if he should have gone to Town and City game one. Riddles, Riddles is moving. Like, like movement wise, his movement is clean. I don't know if that should have killed. It was a very, that was a Smash Four death right there. Especially because we just finished playing. I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got three stock. He got cooked. Oh, okay. He was he was Joker. How's eight hours of four? It was peak. Arsene can kind of take stocks just as quickly as Kaz can. Downer up smash, not gonna get it done, but threatening a great tech off stage wow. with the counter. Look at look at look at his down B or look at his R meter right here. He actually had a micro pixel of it. Like you literally can't even see it. It's going away after this. This is the final thing he could have did. Oh no, that was not a good forward tilt. Is he dead? Oh he dead. Oh he dead. Oh he dead. I feel like anytime I see Riddles and Leo play, he never drops combos on Leo. Imagine we're going to see some early stock takes, assuming Leo stays... Watch, 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 watch. Another extension for Riddles, the landing there, <laughs> and that's going to crumple him. A couple of kicks, put the feet <laughs> on him, and the upbeat gets it down Riddles. I told you, he so never drops nice that shit, bro. Riddle. I will say that Riddles' movement, like his crouch dashes and stuff right now, from what I've watched in those two games, he, he on fire. He moving right now. But obviously his combos are what matters the most. And, and uh, when he get, when he lands a blow, I'm surprised he up smashed. I guess maybe the nair would have uh, spiked off stage or like spiked. It wouldn't have uh, made him stay on stage, so he just went for went for an up smash. Side B. Oh. I feel like he could have killed him with side B right there. Oh, that's a stock. He's dead. He's dead. A lot of people forget that when Kazuya uses laser off stage, he doesn't get it back until he grabs the ledge or if he lands on the stage. When he down tilted that laser and then hit him with a forward air, he has nothing to delay himself besides a down B, but he was too far for the down B to matter. And he actually lived that. That was good. There's moments where Leo's like plays perfectly around Kazia, and then there's times where he's just doing unsafe aerials on his shield constantly. Or like risky aerials. Like, see, something like that was. Oh, oh he dropped the combo. He didn't even need anything else except like just an up air. Yo, the amount of spot dodges that Leo does against Kazia is crazy. He's, he's doing a lot of like landing aerial spot dodge. He's still pushing forward a great spot dodge for Riddles. Okay. And that's gonna clean up that from them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Getting hit by those with Kazi is not bad. It's okay. It's like it's like getting hit by normal aerials. Oh dodge, but no punish. Landing there one into an F smash. MK And Riddles definitely had that. Riddles like second guessed it last second, but he he could have just side beat like towards him and he would have got the crumple into the rest of the you know Kazia sequence. Didn't do anything. And then actually gave Leo enough time to do Nair one F smash. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. When he catches your approach, he throws your stock. I feel like with a character like Roy, you probably want to not always DI in because, like, you know, you don't want to make it obvious all the time. But in that scenario, I would have just DI'd in and prayed that he messed up the rest of the combo because Roy's recovery it wouldn't make it back from there, you know? Down B. Oh. Oh, he's all up in his Cooks. head. That is <laughs> and that's what happens when he reads the I in. Taking his way back in. Find some momentum. Sheesh. Electric here, though. Knockdown. We have to attack. Look, that look goofy as hell. There's not much to say right now, except this is a one player, a one player game. But a stock in MK Leo's hand can always be a threat. Just kick him, bro. I need to start doing that. Hold on. I need to start doing that. Just electric. Just wait. And be like, doof. <laughs> nah, anytime Shuton's beat Leo, it's always been with Olimar, if I'm not mistaken. No reason to switch when it's already working the entire time. But anyways. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, let me see what they're cooking here. I know I haven't really been saying too much because, like, both sets... They kind of been like snowballing hard from like the first stock. 
We've seen it happen. Ooh, good pin. The last time these two players played, I believe Nao won, right? That was at Genesis. But since then, Shattuck has just been cooking more and more. Getting higher results. Major win. Nice. Oh, I don't think Shattuck meant to go that low to grab the ledge there. Banjo does have better results than Sephiroth. That's all right. He's a new Shulk for for Smash 4, at least. Not not this game. Shulk's still broken. I just played this Ditto versus Cosmos for like an hour uh, when he was here for Collision. And these characters are like this Ditto. You can actually just like zero to death or almost zero to death off of any hit. Side B works relatively well on Korn's recovery as well. Like, like getting like a two frame side B pin. There are times where it could like clank or like the little weird moment that it could clank. But at least, you know, when you're these two players, you're like 99% of the time getting the two frame. Down there? Yeah, I, I would have kept following and down there. High key, like right here. Like, look, look, look. Right here. Follow. I, like forward air, and I would I would have down aired because let's say even if my down air somehow didn't work out, uh, nails up B would have pushed me back. I would have just I would have just gone for it right there. No fucks given. And if I got it, it's over. Corn's recovery is not coming back from that. Just like Corn's recovery is not coming back from this. Oh wow, actually. So consistent, great parry on the back air, speaking of rhythm. Up there, mixing up on the platform, wow. the pin as well. Ooh. The, first back, though. Oh, the, the classic, the Smash 4 tech. Pretty dominating game one. Though Nail made some like crucial mistakes, of course. Oof. Damn. Nail had the right read again, but just slightly off where uh, Nail needed to be. Nash attack. Shadow taking notes. Off of the real best chord. I see you. No. <laughs> That's attack optimal. Nice. Shattuck has been winning like a lot of the ground neutral exchanges. Oh, damn. Winning in the air as well now, too. Yeah, right now, the biggest thing is that like uh, Nao is winning some neutral exchanges, but, but Shattuck is landing on the ground much easier overall. That's gonna be a big extension, big damage. That was, that, was, that was really big damage. Wow, that back here. Okay. Nice. Okay, the pins are on point though from Nail at least. Down smash, run up, turn around. Oh my god. The tipper pins. So on point with both these players. You just cannot ever grab the ledge. <laughs> Damn, Shattuck had the read, but somehow that just didn't even like barely clip. Using the moving platform to get back with the pin. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Late hit in air into back air. You have 25,000 years to do that. See, those are the weird moments. Like, I don't know why pin doesn't work in those moments. Positioning. If you are above an opposing core, that's, that's gonna kill. Been yeah. the worst spot to be in. Like sometimes when you pin, try to go for like a two frame, I guess you hit like the wing of corns up B and it like clanks with the pin because like sometimes pin is like strong, but like the priority, I guess, for a lack of word uh, on it is pretty weak. Like some moves just like go right through it or like clank right through it. But I guess it's depending on the placement of where the corn on stage is like using the pin. The back air plays perfectly. Ooh. Yeah, that was a really good back air. 3 0. I don't know the set scores. Oh, corn's getting hit by corn stuff? That sounded a little familiar with the Rob players. The up Grand Tour, baby! Something shifted now in this game. The GT. Yo, Kathan, thank you for the three years. This might be it right here. Oh, good, good directional air dodge there. You gotta mix up your recovery timing to make that pin just less consistent. Oh, good. No. Wow. Hold on, hold on. That was a crazy ass pin. 
one step of that uh, like i said one step of the way that is huge what wow Roar! i only did that because of the core victory uh victory post right there that was actually a crazy ass pin but also really good uh really good um i think it was right here yeah yeah it's, uh, teching in teching in here low key i, I, I thought nail was gonna go for a uh dragon fang shot or whatever like corn's neutral b to like cover the entire platform so even like worst case if uh shattuck did tech in place or tech the way the the water was still or the water portion of the neutral b will still hit shattuck so he won't die for going for that option and if he rolled in then he would have got the chomp and with that much rage and like you know if he charged it long enough it probably would have killed um because you know this placement and the percentage and all that shit. but then right here that was crazy Hey man, all I'm saying is about damn time Pikachu. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? About damn time Pikachu doing something. Nairo angles, chill, 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 chill. I would have lived that. My angles are better than any other Pikachu. I teach them. Oh, Zeus! Nah, this is shiny mark right here. Yeah, yeah, I could. Talk shit about other Pikachu players, but this is an OG Naifu right here. Winner of many Naifu Wars. C consistent top placer. All I'm saying, if it was my Pikachu, I already would've won, won the first game. Check it, your bench is out. Hmm, I wonder if you can get like a big combo off of that. Uh-oh. Even with that first stock. Damn, that up to, yo, hold on, not. Nah. That auto hit hella far. When you're fighting Pichu, see Pichu so finesse. Pichu wants to kill you, but death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. Oh well, I guess maybe not hella far, but like, he was like literally like a pixel from getting blown up by that back here, and absolutely would have killed Pikachu. Oh, a nice lightning. And just like that, back in the lead. Back here is so much better in this game than it was in Smash Four. Holy shit! After just finishing playing that, just looking at the difference. He is bearing. Yo, he's actually done like the last 50% with just back here. This shit is doing 6%. Ooh. Wow. And he got a kill after that. Oh, damn. I thought he was. Yo, yo, he trying to end them right now. The way that Shiny Mark is pressuring right now, though, is like. It actually makes Rob look bad, but like obviously Rob's not bad. This matchup must be very annoying. No surprise. Oh, that's it. Down smash. Clean. Outside of that first stock with the Nairo angle. Bro got he, he got magic tricks. Yo, that's hella gimmicky, bro. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, Shiny Mark, why are you spot dodging here? You know your character broken. Your character don't got a hurt box. Look at, look at, look at this shit. He's like, oh snap! Oh no! Oh, bad placement. The laser's gonna hit me. No, it's not. I'm a spot dodge. No, you don't need to spot dodge. Your character don't got a hurt box. Mm, he just pressure went down tilt forward there. Down tilt forward there. To get any sort of opening. Shiny Mark lands on nice. Okay, hold on. Big Boss kind of farming right now. Hold on. Oh, he trying to do up throw up it? Eh? It's not going to kill from center stage. That was good. That was good. I think Big Boss thought he jumped, but he actually didn't jump. He did that instant wall jump tech. Like, like, like right here. Look. Drop off. Wall jump. So he still had his jump here. So Big Boss is like, oh, he can't jump anymore because he just jumped. But no, he still had his jump. That was really good. But even with that, Big Boss has been farming this game. It doesn't feel like it. Oh, oh. Sweep. Sweeping the stage. Sweeping the stage. Janitor. Oh, my. He would have lived in Smash 4. We got to set. We got to set. In both his repertoire and Pikachu's, and here's a good chance to show us one up air, up air into a back air. Catches Big Boss in a rough spot. Look Yo, there. his wall jumps. Ooh. And the quick oh my. And oh, he thunder. messed up. So that sequence was crazy, though. Hold on, let me go. Let me play that back. But of course, let's ignore the Pikmin music playing. We don't talk about that. Let's talk about the sequence. So he got the back air. 
he did the instant wall jump thing into a thunder jolt right there so he was continuing the pressure the thunder jolt both i mean not thunder jolt quick attack both of them hitting into a drag down but the thing is where he messed up here when he did thunder he moved a little bit forward so the thunder just barely missed him just barely missed him that was still a crazy ass sequence though like what he wanted to do was was crazy as fuck uh oh nah see see this is the type of shit that i like what you did in your first stock is revoked revoked now because you got an undeserved down air right there one into two in the same down air privilege damn i thought you were a knife i'm not a hater i'm not, I'm not hating i'm just i was clarifying my guy i was clarifying my fault my fault damn shiny bar really pulled up hey, it's the chat bro I, i'm a pikachu fan but pokemon red and blue was my first game hey, don't 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 listen to them bro i promise <laughs> now it's our fault bro i've been a big ass pikachu fan since day on day one Hold on, he's farming. Catch the two frame the down beautiful, down beautiful. Down beautiful. Bro, down air is so hard to hit. Sometimes, yo, chat, if you didn't know, sometimes you can get two hits of down air. It's really hard. You have to, like, catch somebody teching and read the tech with the. Like, it's crazy as fuck, bro. Like, if you ever see it, like, pop off. This matchup looks really annoying for Rob, but, like, Shiny Mark also just knows when to, like. Whoa, the side B just going back and forth. Wow, man, brilliant recovery, dude. You deserved it. Yeah, you deserved it, bro. You deserved it. You know, most characters, and they burned their double jump in side B towards the blast zone. They're dead, but it's all right. It was through your hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that you made it back and you took the first stock. A wizard of his character up till into an air dodge read for the up air. Great stuff. But in the blender. Gyro online back in the game. Yeah, he read the fuck out of that LB. Uh-oh. We're talking about for area denial, but forcing the high recovery to shoot there. Nair one up smash, or like, you know, falling there up smash. Oh, the hezzy there too. Great up to cancel Nair. We're going to go to the platform. No, no drag out. Not enough drift. Bro, what? How are some of your moves beating Rob's, like... Nair and shit. Like, look at this. Right here. Like, oh, I see. Damn, you actually hit the perfect spot. Like, where Rob's Nair was was in the perfect spot to not hit you. Tefroff could never. You know what I do there? No way. I was, I was about to say if he made it back from there, that would have been. Yeah. Bullshit! Incredible. I swear, there's been times where I counter Sephiroth, or with Sephiroth, I counter Rob's Nair, and it still hits me. Like, it triggers the counter, and I still get hit. Don't check that out, though. Oh, that's it. Nair drag down, now smash. Nice. Anytime that, anytime that Shiny Mark put Big Boss on the ledge, he legitimately just never landed back on stage or it was very hard for him to land back on stage because pikachu has so many lingering moves forward air back air down air nair lingers as well up air doesn't linger but it's fast enough where like if it misses you know he could do another one again and then he pancakes it when he lands on the ground and stuff all these constant hitboxes that big body rob has to avoid and basically anytime he got put on the ledge it was a one player game from shiny mark's point of view Oh, that was not. There was no way that was supposed to be enough smash. That must have been a fall through the platform up here. Another drop combo. Though that elect. What? The kick? Oh, they scrambling right now. They are scrambling. This is a sloppy first game. Up in your muffin oh, that's it. And that's a piece of cake with a nice upbeat. Push out a shield by the electric ring. God fist too, but no further follow up going to happen. Oh, love that too. The weak hit on that hit. forward hit of Nair. What a follow with the dragon fang. Hey, let that thing eat. Getting creative now is Nao. Pristine use of neutral B from both Nao and Shadow. Wow, that B reverse actually saved them from getting tippered right there. Nice or tipper pin. Who's oh, that's a stop. Runs right through it. 
Who's better, Corn or Sephiroth? I think I like Corn is better. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh shit! Wait. I, yo, I was fake crying. What happened? What the fuck? Damn! Jesus! He's just parrying a lot of things, but he's not getting anything off the parries, but he's just not getting hit. You know? Yo, what up? What up, Dave? Damn, the retreating laser, he said. Look, look, he, he said, who you grabbing? He said, who you grabbing? Zip. Watch, 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 watch. Look, look. Zip. <laughs> that looks so goofy. And just like that, when Riddles' movement is on point, bro, he made Kazuya look faster than, like, Wing Sephiroth. Sorry, right, you know, Sephiroth's always the example. But, hey, Wink Sephiroth's pretty fast. Oh! The dash is forward. This is so intimidating. It's terrifying. Oh, he fucked up. He fucked up. Bro, you see what I'm talking about? TAS level shit, bro. Damn. I killed? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! This is getting kind of gross as Riddles. <laughs> this is getting kind of gross. <laughs> Caught another jump. That wasn't even the same move, too. Oh, no. Oh, it's over. 22%? Is that all you're getting now? Michael Hicks! Michael Kim! That's Michael Hicks, baby! Oh, my God! That, that, I was going to say, that ass whooping. That ass whooping was crazy. Right here, the fact that he had enough space. Nail definitely should have held away here. What do we got here? Two got hit by this shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Michael Hitch, Michael Kim. So this was winner's finals of this event. Shaddy versus Shiny Mark. I can't imagine this matchup being that bad for Corrin, but like, probably annoying slash like losing, like slightly losing at the very least. Sheesh. It feels weird to see Pikachu like do something. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. No, I feel like he said don't go to much events, but even when he does, I guess he doesn't do like, you know, like how he used to. But I mean, that's a given if you don't go to much events and all that stuff. And even, and then even back then, like, you know, he sometimes had some weird, like he had some good peaks, but like some like weird losses as well and shit. The difference between Shiny Mark and Isam is that Shiny Mark does not just hold in the entire time. In fact, it's more so the opposite. He doesn't press much like hard committal options because he doesn't need to. Like Isam has some like crazy uh, Pikachu sequences sometimes, but then sometimes he starts being all Elite Smash like and and does like Thunder Jolt and and runs in with the Thunder Jolt. Like bro, that's that Elite Smash shit. I promise you. Though some characters actually can't really deal with it too well, but I'm just saying in general versus the best of the best players. He still does that shit. But but Shiny Mark is willing to camp if need be. What? How did that how did that come out in time to uh, to trade with it? Yeah, he said got like crazy combos, but I mean Shiny Mark has some co combos too. But Shiny Mark's neutral is definitely better. Like you see right there, he did two th thunder jolts, didn't hold in, and was just like waiting to see how Shattuck would respond with it. He's gonna go for these down airs, or not these down airs, these back airs on shield because if he gets it, he gets so much off of it. Oh. He gets so much off of it, and most people can't hard punish Pikachu back air on shield. Especially Corrin. Usually the characters that can do that is like characters with good up B out of shield or like a good up smash out of shield. Oof. Even I forgot about Pikachu, but like watching this, I'm like, damn. Oh. He could have down aired him off of that. Nice down air. Why does it spike? We'll never, we'll never know. Like, can we talk about that? I know we've talked about it before, but you really gave Pikachu a spike down air after already giving him a spike thunder. And the sour spot of Pikachu's thunder, or not thunder, the sour spot of Pikachu's down air is basically like landing the sweet spot of his old down air in Smash 4 and Brawl and shit like that. 
Like, so he didn't even lose out on anything. His sour spot is still good as fuck. And he pancakes more than, than ever before. Mad? Ooh, kept the jump. Good shit. Yeah, hold on. Shattuck is fighting back this round. Oh, shit. I thought he almost did a Naira angle. Oh, that was a What? Yo, Sonny Mar, you go back and watch this shit. Yo, good shit. Yo, go down there. Oh, my God. What a corny choose to lose ass option. Oh, my God. Oh, yo, Shattuck, if you watch this. Yo, good ass option, bro. Good call out. Bro switching teams like it's Halo. Like, why do you guys think that like the other person must lose? Why can't people decide that both players are winners? What does it say on the top left? Right here. Winners, finals. Ooh. That down tilt was so good. Uh-oh, wait, calm down, calm down. Ah, uh, nah, static. Oh. Not with the other and Shiny Mark not happy with that one. Hold on, let me go back real quick. Shattuck is crazy for doing that against Pikachu of all characters. But Shiny Mark SD'd Naira Angle. Double spaghetti. Damn, really? I'm actually surprised he didn't make it back with that angle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Down smash? Oh, my God. Thank goodness he doesn't have a Pichu down smash. I mean, good shit. One thing I don't see Shiny Mark get a kill with is dash attack. Esam always fiends for those dash attacks. That shit is broken, though. One hundred sixty percent. I can't really say too much about that. That was pretty high percent. Uh, Leo, he he stopped by to take like pictures with fans and play them, and uh, he let his twin brother uh enter the event, and uh, he got seventh. But like, yeah, he went back to Hawaii because like you know, this event was in the Midwest, so there isn't much flights that go from the Midwest to Hawaii. A bunch of connecting flights and all that, all that jazz. Backs to each other, both swinging for the fences, but not finding a hit anywhere. Yeah, the first hit coming up could be so crucial. It could be Shadow taking the stock and eating up, Ooh. or it could be Shiny Mark with a down throw. In Why that look true? Shadow must have not pressed the button. He might be able to air dodge, but maybe if he pressed any other button, the down air just comes out faster than all his other buttons. And this ain't a fast paced top eight matchup wise. Down smash? Oh, dropped it. I wonder I wonder if you could have did neutral B chomp. Like turn around neutral B uh Shattuck. Maybe not because Pikachu is like uh, like small. Might have just gone right under him or over his head. Hmm, turn around up here. First ledge trump I've seen him do. Shattuck is great. Uh, Shattuck is shielding a decent amount right now. Maybe scared. Maybe scared of like potential quick attacks. Quick attack is so broken, dude. Wow, he didn't get hit by that. What? Pikachu really just got no disadvantage. <laughs> Bro could just be on the corner of a platform off stage, well, no matter what, and he just quick attacks to the opposite end. And we just are just gonna accept that? Oh. What? No, there's no way. I don't even know if that up smash was intentional, but like. No. Bro. Bro, there's no way it missed. How did that miss? That just sucks. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, he should have got hit by the up smash low key. Like, you should not, you should be on your last dog right now. When Sephiroth's greatest attribute is to stall on the ledge for his loss, that's how you know you fucked up with your character. Like, like as the Smash dev team, that's his, that's his perk. You get, you get to stall on the ledge to have more play time for your loss, your incoming loss. He gonna get pinned. I'm waiting for it. Neither player wants to commit to anything too risky. It's been so back and forth the whole time. That was oh, that was the delayed pin. What? The dash check in the corner. Hold on, hold on. That pin miss him? Yo, what? 
Yo, no way that pin, that it must have been like legitimately one frame after the hitbox went away. There's no way. It just visually did not look like it missed. I'm telling you, Pikachu and Pichu don't got hurt boxes. They forgot to put it into those characters. Sephiroth. Oh, never mind. The only time Sephiroth appears in these top eights, character select screen. Mid! He's using Cloud. Oh, no down smash? Off to a rough start. The TNT uh -huh. job done, but 112. Cause hasn't been able to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting as well as so in the form of like oh, yeah. Anthony. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no, 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 no! Not a good start. No riddles. Do not, do not believe the fake hype. This character is mid. When people say like, oh yeah, he. Yeah, he's really far into the tier list. He uh, top 50. They mean like he's number 50. They is me. <laughs> it's looking like my cloud. Yeah, my cloud is fucking beautiful, bro. I'm telling you. I would have killed him right there. My down air? My cloud is so beautiful. I, I think I'm literally the sole cloud that actually gives other cloud mains faith. Okay, hold on. Maybe he just like... He, maybe he just needed to warm up. Okay. Riddles just barely avoided it. He almost ran into it anyways. And now the back air coming through. Extended on the drafting table. Dodges the side B and is going to get an F smash. Damn. All right, all right, that was the warm up game. That was the warm up game. That was the first time he used Cloud probably ever in bracket. Yo, you see the team? Kazia. Game is telling you, bro. <laughs> They're like, not yet. Do not pull out the Cloud yet. It's a work in progress. That up to actually missed because I, he did an up air and her box shifted. Wow. Okay. Off the wall. Like I just said earlier. Oh no. The zombie skin is so ugly, bro. Steve is ugly. Everything. His alts, his moves, animations. Uh, yo, 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 Riddles, do you want me? Do you want me to hand you the GameCube controller right now? You, you think this is a big enough lead? All right, here you go, bro. All right, my bad, my bad. I forgot that. Like he, he told me to like play the first part of this match. Oh. Surprised he didn't just walk up up smash. I'm telling you, if you want to, if you want to unlock. The true power of playing mid, you have to play where mid comes from. And it's the same thing for other characters. You can't cook. You can't cook with Steve unless you play Minecraft or you're me. Because my Steve is greatness too. But for mortals, you, you need to play the game they come from. So you can understand the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears you're going to have to put in with a bad character. That's up here. <laughs> duck Hunt mains? Come on, bro. You know, back then. I mean, Duck Hunt mains probably ordered that shit. The, the zapper or whatever. The, and they go like crazy in the room. They're like... <laughs> and they start shooting that shit. Their parents are like, yo, shut the fuck up. And then they go to sleep. But hey, you know the zappers and stuff. They're not. They're not really. You know. They're not. It's not a thing anymore. So that's why you don't see duck, duck hunt players cook, especially not like my duck hunt. Hold on, Riddles is cooking now. That first game was a warm up. Until Onan gets a diamond and then he just literally like hits him one time and he starts cooking him. Yo, he. Yo, elite up beast. Much bigger punish than it was, but now with caught off stage, it should be a pretty significant. You get a little too carried away with them up bees. Too many, too many up bees. I heard up B. Yo, you up B drone. Where light has definitely asked me, yo, have you played Star Fox on the uh, Star Fox Command or whatever on the on the DS? I'm like, no, man. <laughs> so that's why he's the only fox that cooks, cause he play all of them. Hey. Like he's a real fan? What are you trying to say? Bro, I played I played Kid Icarus back then. Like the first one. Oh. Damn, no diamond even needed for that. Bro, I played the first Kid Icarus. 
way back then when Palutena didn't even really have a model like zero suit i played the best metroid game other m you know how this shit go uh you know for a deeper understanding of the character sam ass meta knight come on man you know this shit superstar superstar ultra all them games like i play all them shits too bro like it's me man it's me anyways game number four look 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 he got hit by this back here right then he gets hit by this this mine cart into the forward air and then he gets hit by the mine cart again ain't that something he only would have got hit by mine cart one time if he, if he beat final fantasy 7 but if you want to cook with the mies what are you talking about we sports yeah well one thing riddles is cloud is doing a lot is definitely the is definitely up beast that one wasn't bad but like like when he's holding shield and getting pressured, he's up being every time. Nice. I don't think he needs to grab more. He could grab at some po points, but the, the big moments is that like Onan is getting big damage off of those up beasts. A star KO, so now Steve gets all the mats that he wants. Nice. That was a good up smash. No, no, no up bees. Look. Look. Oh my god. What the fuck? Bro took 80% for up being. That was kind of crazy. That's it. He up beat so much that Onan felt comfortable to get ready to go for that combo, which is kind of crazy. I won't even cap. I have not seen that. Where the up smash keeps hitting and it drops off and then he just continues. Because I he was going higher and higher, so I thought the blocks would stop eventually spawning, but nope. Though, I will say that his cloud, outside of the first game, didn't do bad. He just needs to go for a little less up beast and use movement more for, like, option coverage or, like, like just general in scenarios. And also, like, try to catch some landings with dash attack. I don't, I don't think I saw a single dash attack in all of those games. Ah, right, losers finals. Shattuck versus Onan. I think the last time they played, Shattuck won. This is this is good. This is good tournament music, by the way. This is a classic. This is a subspace emissary classic. Yeah, Onan does use TNT very often, and a lot of people honestly don't know how to deal with TNT like that because of how like like in terms of like the setups, they don't really go. Or a lot of other Steves don't really go for it. Oh, he is pressuring. Oh, I feel like I feel like Shattuck knew that Anvil was coming because like Steve eventually is going to press like like any Steve in the pressure scenario like that. If they're not like uh, landing after a long period of time and they're running out of mats, they're going to start getting desperate. So in this moment, Shattuck probably should have been looking out for uh, a counter. You know, like a counter on the anvil. I would imagine that it works pretty well considering like Korn's counter goes up or like the hitbox is up. So even if Steve like jumps out of the anvil, he's probably gonna get like caught still in the hitbox range. Yo, Dusty. Ooh. Wow. Good DI. Yeah, good DI by Owen in there. The static down tilts on the platforms have been pretty nice versus. Oh. oh. That could have been so bad. Ooh, that was very sneaky from Shattuck. Oh my goodness, gonna find it finally with the short hop jab. Hold on, I was gonna say, hold on, I'm gonna say something to you, Dusty, after this. Hold on. Oh, that's it. Up throw. Oh, I was gonna say, yo, Dusty, why are you saying if if Kaname is going, why aren't you going to Kagaribi? Huh? You didn't go to Collision because you should be saving up to go to Kagaribi. That's that, that that's what makes sense to me. Why are you asking about a whole other person going? Go. He's gonna be like, bro. <laughs> like imagine the headlines now. Like congratulations to the winner of Kagaribi. Dusty Carpet defeating Mia. Proving that Game & Watch is overrated because he always been saying that shit. That's the style that Onan's oh no! See, it's your fault, Shadik messed up. Leave me alone. Whenever Onan gets like a big lead or like a, a stock lead, I swear the next stock is always bad for the other person. They never come back. It's over. 
Like, like think about it. Your set versus Akala, Spargo, and Mia. And the cat has to make a recording, like reaction, and like a study analysis vod on those sets. Ooh, both those recoveries, definitely questionable recoveries or recoveries that shouldn't have KO'd. Uh oh. Damn. That's not, that's not gonna kill, but 100% already, like I said, this shit be snowballing. That's it. That stock was instant deletion. Yo, Dusty, if you start entering coin box and you, you appear on a HBox stream and stuff, I will watch that shit if I'm streaming. If I see you versus Sonics and I see his ass time you out, I'm definitely watching that shit. <laughs> I'll donate to his stream. I'm like, yo, the next opponent... It'd be like, it'd be like a non. Thank you for the fifty dollars. He said, and he said for your next opponent. Oh, there wasn't a block there. Hold on, hold on. I'm be like, yo, for your for your next set, I'll give you fifty more bones if you time out your next opponent. And you about you about to get timed out. But anyway, let me see what will happen here. What the hell? There wasn't a block there. What the fuck happened here? I think he bounced off the anvil that hit him. Let me see. Boom. It's so. Oh yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see the anvil right there. That's so crazy. What the fuck? I feel like. I have no idea. I feel like it's so weird to like. It, it feels like it's so weird to have that be so uncommon when people have millions of stocks have been taken by anvil, unteckable in those same spots. But for that to happen there, unteckable at eighty, by the way. <laughs> That side B, but she had it further in the corner. Nice. Yeah. Only person really doing TNT stuff. <laughs> Oof. I feel like with better DI, Shattuck would have still left there because that was what, iron? What'd I say? What'd I say? When you come back, don't interact with Onan for the first five to ten seconds. Oh, another! I didn't say anything the last time it happened on the in the other game, but another moment where Onan missed the tech and will die relatively early, sub nine, uh, sub one hundred percent, and just like that, this lead isn't that big of a lead anymore. All right, maybe. All right, well, it's a lead. It is a lead, but looking for one side percent, he's able to swing back. The percent still fine for both players down. Wow, the mic card low key saved him. Oh, that's it. It's one of those games where, like, you were down by so much and you brought it back that even though you lost, you're probably feeling really good going into the next game if you continue that momentum. You're like, wow, I, I made almost a, a full two stock comeback with one stock, and wow, I was at kill percent. If I just do that next game, then. I should win. Oh my god, really? That one block was enough? Turn this off. I'm getting sick watching this. I'm I'm learning right now. I'm taking notes. My Steve is fire, but I know it could be even more fire. <laughs> incorrect. Loud incorrect buzzer. Mario Strikers with the cat win. Oh, I, I can't play Nintendo games versus the cat because he says that's all I play, even though he plays it more, but uh, you know. I can't do that. Game five? Any diamonds in chat? Yo, tell chat. Oh. Please don't. My sword would be so fire. You know why? I already know it's, it's, it'd be fire. You know why? Because I don't fucking play like a bitch. So off of that alone. I could teach them new things. But anyway, games f game five. Shattuck versus Onan. Quick, what, like 40, 45%? When Onan takes the first stock, you might as well just pretend you're on your last stock. Okay, Onan will definitely take that. A kill at 80% and then you get a free diamond for your next stock. What if when Steve broke his, like, materials or, like, his, uh... His weapons, like the final hit, is even stronger. Like as it shatters. Yo, Sakurai, write that down. <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on. Shattuck is talking right now. 
and a last stock situation is looming here. It's not looking good. Oop. He's getting a lot of great hits, but just can't close out the kill. Wow. The pin doesn't do it. The pin him. actually stopping the back. A bit too close is on But then the slice, slice Corn's cape with that F smash. Uh, we got the final set or two. I don't know if it goes to set two. Don't spoil. I actually don't know. <laughs> jab. This jab tech chased. So if Onan knew that this jab would put it put him onto the platform, he could have got a potential kill right here. Jab back here. What? Extremely safe while being that that was actually kind of crazy or like crazy spacing and yeah, very, very high <laughs> Yo, the thunder joel hit the block so it went up and it hit him now smash you can tech it never mind <laughs> the t-jolts are actually still extremely good against blocks because it just climbs over the block that is probably like the main thing I hate about Steve. Up tilt into back air, so fucking good. It should not combo with uh, with diamond at that percent. It should not combo past like 60%. Instant thunder. I mean, Shiny Mark looks comfortable in this matchup from what I'm seeing. Like... Like, he doesn't mind. Oh, Ooh, that was not a good quick attack. Onan was like, I'm going to just side B anyway. Because, like, if you go to, if you stay on the ledge, I'm just going to go to the opposite side of the stage and mine materials. That's probably what Onan was thinking. But Onan ended up getting the stock and was like, oh, I'll take it. I'll take that. Yo, stuck in a little little mouse trap right there. Is Ken the only Sephiroth to ever win a major? Yeah. It wasn't really, it wasn't solo Sephiroth, but yeah, you know, like, you know, Sephiroth was used in that racket. He cooked, he cooked in the top eight. Remember when Shiny Mark was just that Ryu who entered Smash 4 and Knife Wars? Well, he used a bunch of characters. He used like Pit and shit. I don't remember if he, did he use Ryu? Why don't I remember Ryu? I've seen him use like some sword characters, Pikachu. Actually, not. Did he use Pikachu again as well in Smash 4? Smash 4? I'm not sure. He used a bunch of characters, though. Sometimes he would just go, like, random other characters. Sometimes he'd go, uh, it's like one solo character. I guess I really just don't remember, like, some of the Ryu sets. But I, I, I do, okay, I do remember some moments with Ryu. But I wasn't sure if he saw it as, like, his main. Because there was a portion where he was using way more Pit. But maybe because Pit is easier on Wi-Fi. Also, I donated everything from yesterday. It's like a quick thing. I donated everything that I got yesterday to be a fundraiser. I saw someone use the fundraiser command. It was actually for this event, Diamond Dust, that, that took place this past weekend. They're raising funds to Gamers Outreach Foundation, which they it's a foundation that buys a, a bunch of like toys and games to children at hospitals that have to go through a bunch of like treatments and like tests. To like help them escape through all the like a stress and like pressure of those um like tests and uh those tests and treatments so it just makes things easier on their mind and stuff you know so i believe we ended up raising up like 220 dollars yesterday or like i got in total donations guy it was like any donations that i got we got 220 dollars and i sent it this morning and i i believe the the donation link is still there so that's why i'm talking about it now and of course, editors, you could include what I just said. I don't know how long the link is going to be there for, but if it's still there and you want to pitch in like a couple dollars and stuff, like if you wanted to donate to me today, you know, feel free to donate to the uh, fundraiser instead. It helps them. The only time Nairo is nice. Why are you hating? I'm always nice. Positivity vibes all day. 2024 is the year of positivity. 2023 is the year of positivity. 2022 was the year of positivity. Yeah, got spiked. They lost. So hard for Odin to find the ground. The down air connects as well. Such a brutal move. Great quick attack in the smash being I didn't know I ended it right right there. Yeah, I got booted out of Smash 4, but I think it's because I went idle. I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit, hold on, hold on. I didn't expect the stock loss that fast. It was literally like four seconds. Pikachu's like, disadvantage? What is disadvantage? I don't know what that is. 
He's setting up a whole wall and fortress over there. He just goes to the other side of the stage. You can only footstool aerials. That's not, that's not true. You can't footstool. I swear it's possible. I swear I've seen it. Am I going crazy? Maximum rage down air almost becoming maybe I'll maybe I'm just getting anvil like true combo or like true punish Damn, he did not get hit at all with anything important that stock I, 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 I've been, I, I've been distracted This is grand finals. I mean like I gotta I gotta see what's going on Damn, Onan actually won that game. Shiny Mark was like whooping him in the in the half point of the match. He was at three stock high percent to two stock very very high percent. It was that second stock though. Onan like took no percent, basically zero to death to him with no combos. He just kept hitting him with raw aerials. Okay, he finally tech the block. That was a one in seven now. A couple of those in, in like the past two sets. These games have been so damn close. Nice. Order comes down to it's up to Shiny Mark now to prove that he's capable of doing this consistently. The up airs make it look very much like he can. But only fighting really back. Really got two up airs. This is like a, a very odd paced matchup. It's not like super slow. It's a little slow for a portion, but then they start scrapping. But then their moves are like, like they're living to very high percent. So then there's like this downtime right here, or it's like, all right, Thunder Jolt, camp. And then they start scrapping. And then rinse and repeat. What's the Grand Tour thing? It's just resubbing for three, three years. The real lore of it is that like when we were testing sub notifications, my brother put that there. Like when I first started streaming, put that there to test out a three-year resub. And we completely forgot about that, or we as in him. I never knew that that was what he used to test out the three-year resub. So then when it came down to the day that it was the three-year anniversary of like the members or like subs, that just played and I was like, what the fuck is that? And then it stayed. Wick attack is broken as hell, man. It's a, it's a get out of disadvantage scenario. It's a advantage state, like, you know, starter. I mean, that's all you really need. As to why it's broken. Oh, what is going on? Oh, my God. That was like, this was like online. Like, what just, like, what is going on here? That was some of the weirdest play I've seen in an offline in a hot minute. But, I mean, Onan was down by a lot. So, I mean, he could have came back like he did in uh, the other game, but... Oh, no, no, it is OP. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying that's all you needed for to be OP. Who wins this matchup? I would imagine that Steve does, but Pikachu probably could hang in there. Maybe it's even. I don't know. It, it, this is definitely not a matchup I see too often. But from what I'm looking at here, like, you know, Thunder Jolts do really good against uh, walls because it just goes right over it. He can you can exert pressure like really good amounts of pressure to make it make it hard for Steve to get uh, anvil I mean not anvil uh materials But like obviously Pikachu also doesn't do as much damage output as Steve and uh, Pikachu is also a, a, a light character So definitely good stuff for Pikachu. I can see some good stuff for Steve I can see shiny marks play style doing way better th than Esam's I can see Esam running into a lot of stuff that Steve does as opposed to shiny mark where it's like he has run into some stuff But not as often Almost complete even game Shiny Mark taking advantage. Trying to end them with that down air. Almost got the Thunder Spike right there. He Shiny Mark is actually pressuring the. Oh, now. And that was such an early directional air dodge again that Shiny Mark definitely should have just charged up smash. Yo, the anvil push to make the dash attack land even faster. Like right now, he's just like ultra pressuring the hell out of Onan, but obviously. If he lands like a back air, a diamond back air right now, it'd become an even game or not even game. Uh, Onan will take out the stock. 
got to get something crazy off stage. We'll go for that up smash. Go for that dash attack first option. You've seen prior. There it is. Reads the dash right. attack. Such a now Shiny Mark's being extremely patient. End at any given moment. And now Try to fluster his own in to get some larger attacks. Try to get a nair down smash right there, but got the late hit of yo the block. Up throw going to take it. I'm pretty sure that F smash didn't miss because it hit the, the not the block the uh, craft table. So it's, it, it delayed the hitbox to hit Onan and he at yeah and he managed to spot dodge. Wow. The grand tour. The grand tour. Oh, that's it. No, no, no. The block is gonna. Oh no, it doesn't. What the heck? How did it not hit? Bro said, hey, yo, and the man's like, bro, I really didn't have to tech that? I couldn't tech the block? What's going on here? Yeah. Oh. That was a nasty ass angle. What the heck? <laughs> bro actually teleported. Oh, shit to Shiny Mark. Shiny Mark W. He said he got sick from traveling because he actually was in the chat for a moment while we were watching him play. <laughs> but yo, good shit to Shiny Mark. That wasn't as bad of a set that I thought it was going to be at first. Like, at first they were playing slow, but like, you know, I've seen much slower. It's weird because we haven't really watched Pikachu do much in recent time that I didn't mind seeing like, you know, clean Pikachu play like that. And Shiny Mark definitely is the best Pikachu right now too. Like for sure. Someone who doesn't have opportunities much to travel to many events, but very consistent in any time he does go to events. So that was good. That was good.